channel so happy almost halloween and uh yeah i'm super excited guess who uh is already prepared not me but anywho sir uh so i wanted to do something a little bit different today as you can see i got some uh, cookie cakes in my hand i wanted to do a little bit of a cooking or baking with the bougie blog uh, episode for y'all so <laughs> i decided to uh go on to my uh, local pinterest.com and look up just a Halloween inspired recipe and I found these super super neat uh, spiderweb cupcakes I don't know if you can see it uh, that were super easy to make but also slightly challenging so if you like what you see here definitely continue watching and uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll uh, catch you later peace okay so to get started we're gonna need baking mix icing marshmallows sprinkles and food coloring of course, you're gonna need your baking cups and a bowl. And then we're gonna first preheat our oven to 350. And then we're just gonna follow the directions on the back because y'all, I'm simple and Betty Crocker saves lives. So taking the baking mix, we're gonna pour in about one fourth cups of water. And then we're gonna stir that up. And then pour in about a third cup of oil and then stir that in and then trois eggs that's french for three but that wasn't really good french so just just three eggs and then we're gonna pour in some sprinkles because you know everything needs sprinkles so just gonna put in our baking cups into our baking cupcake pan thing and then pour in the batter as you see and put those babies in the oven Set the timer for 14 minutes. And then now we're gonna move on to our food coloring and icing. So I'm using uh, little simple baggies you see here. I'm dividing the icing into four parts. And then just scooping out a part at a time, putting that in the little baggie. And I learned this trick via YouTube. Uh, it definitely helps with, you know, lowering the uh, the messiness. <laughs> so avoiding the mess rather um, when mixing icing and food coloring. And it's just kind of a clever way to also kind of have a, a piping bag. So you see here, I'm just mashing it all together, mixing it up, and then I got my piping bag. And so I'm just gonna repeat these steps and mixing in, um, you know, different colors. I know I'm doing a purple, a green, and a red, some other colors. So honestly, the best way to figure out the combinations, the color combinations, is just to Google how many drops of each you need. Don't follow my directions, y'all. Just mm -mm, go and do your research, because I'm not the best when it comes to this. And I had some leftover icing, um, and I just actually thought at the last minute, I'm gonna make a brain cupcake, because it looks cool, and I think I can do that. But <laughs> you'll see later. Anywho, there, I put everything into the freezer and uh, along with the cupcakes, I left them all in there for about 10 minutes just so that they can harden up and, you know, be a little solid. Um, and then I started just piping my icing. Just kind of cut a little hole into each baggie and then just not really do anything too special, just kind of making it a little stringy. This is the part where you can just go crazy, have fun. Um, honestly, this whole thing, you can just go crazy and have fun. You don't even have to, like, follow any kind of direction. Um, and then for the final cupcakes, I actually decided to make brain cupcakes, a.k.a. I made one brain cupcake because I failed um, and used up all my icing on this very one cupcake you see here. So essentially what I'm doing is just creating two rows of zigzaggy lines on either side or both sides of the cupcakes and then two lines going straight down the middle. After that, I stick my cupcakes into the freezer just so that they can harden a little bit more. And then I kind of ditched the marshmallow cream and went with the good old classic mini marshmallows. I stuck them in there for about 15 seconds. And when they came out, they were this perfect consistency of ooey gooey and just sticky. <laughs> so despite the fact that we were trying to avoid mess, uh, it's gonna get messy. So using two fingers, you're going to just kind of you know, stick and stretch the, the marshmallow fluff um, around the cupcake. And you could, like I said, go crazy. The main, uh, the main goal is to make it look as webby as possible to really achieve that effect. So 
uh, yeah, just go crazy. And you know, you, you, you're gonna end up using all your hands and maybe your arm because this stuff is real sticky, but turned out really nicely, I think. Um, if you all definitely like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.